A good set of rims is crucial for making your car look good and we all love to change our wheels up to improve the look of our cars. However, some manufacturers get it right from day one and the wheels they choose to put on the car from the factory are just perfect. Wheelie good, you might say. Yeah, I went there, didn't I? Hello you lot, Miller Corner here, welcome back once again and first a quick bit of admin for those of you that aren't regular on this channel because normally I upload a video at 5 o'clock every Friday so what am I doing uploading this video on a Monday? Well that is for a very good reason indeed, partly because December is the month of Christmas, the month of giving and partly because in this very same month, actually no it wasn't, it was November, I actually hit 1500 YouTube subscribers which is just awesome and I can't tell you how thankful I am to all of you for making that possible. However, given that I haven't long done a celebratory subscriber number Q&A, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and a little bit more interesting because for this month only, the month of December, you are going to get two Miller Corner videos every Monday and every Friday between now and the new year. That's right, every single Monday and every single Friday, including this one, you're going to get a new Miller Corner video at 5pm, so tune in because there's a lot to come and to be honest, I've got a lot to get filming, so without further ado, to business. The other day I was reading the Piston Heads forums and there was a little thread on there that picked my interest, namely this one. Which car or cars have come as standard from the factory with the best wheels? Which ones are the coolest, the most stylish? Which rims from the factory on a car have been the best? Now this being Piston Heads and to be fair being any internet forum, there were a lot of people giving their opinions and some of which were even getting called idiots. Can you believe it? Now me being an idiot and being on the internet, I thought I'd give my opinion as well. So here in my opinion are the five, in no particular order, best rims to come on cars from the factory. First up, they're modern, they're exotic, and they're kind of overpriced, but I can't help but love them. And those are the five-spoke carbon blade wheels for the Jaguar F-Type. These wheels actually launched on the car back in 2013 or whenever it was, and I loved them from the minute I saw them. They're the right amount of aggressive, classy, and stylish that perfectly suit the aggressive, classy, and stylish F-Type. These are gorgeous wheels, and the only thing I can think that's wrong with them is the price because on the second hand market you're going to pay about £1,500 for a set of carbon F type wheels. If you spec them on the car from new, you're going to be looking at over two grand extra to spec them. Some people might argue that that is ridiculously overpriced and that for that kind of money you'd be far better off going and getting some look alike aftermarket ones. But I think these wheels are just perfect for the F-Type. No matter whether you've got a Roadster or a Coupe and what colour you've got, they are gorgeous. They look absolutely wicked. Just uh, be careful not to curb them. Next up we're going old school with some properly classy wheels from Porsche. Namely rims that have come on their cars since the 70s and those are the iconic dished Fuchs wheels that Porsche have had since forever, basically. They've got the rim around the outside in silver and the centre, which is usually done in black, and I think they are just a wicked wheel. They perfectly suit Porsches of the period, 944s, 911s, you name it, these wheels seem to suit Porsches. Even these days when they've been reimagined for cars like the 997-911 Sport Classic, these wheels just never seem to go out of fashion, and they only seem to particularly suit Porsche. I don't know what it is, but there's something about them that says stylish, but not too Italian, not too flary, just the right amount of German precision, class and style. Big fan. Next up are some Japanese wheels, wheels that weren't actually mentioned even once on the Piston Heads thread, but hey, as you've probably worked out by now, I've got weird taste. The wheels in question are the Subaru WRX Twin 5-spoke wheels. 
Call me crazy, but I love these wheels. Get them in gunmetal grey and put them on any Subaru of pretty much any vintage, and I think they look awesome. They look really aggressive, they look cool, and in typical Subaru fashion, they're functional as well, in that they're tough, they're relatively easy to clean, and they're versatile, in that they fit on pretty much any Subaru model from the 80s right up to the present day. They're cheap, they look great on any Scooby you care to put them on, and I love them. Next up, we're going back to Porsche. These wheels did crop up on the Piston Heads thread, and with good reason in my opinion, because these have been some of my favourite wheels since my first ever dream car, the 997 Porsche 911. The wheels I'm on about are the Lobster Claws. Now, amongst Porsche fans, these wheels do divide opinions. Some people think they're too fussy, some people think they're too difficult to clean, and some people just think they're too big for the arches. But me, personally, I think those are all wrong. I think these are so freaking cool. Just look at them. It doesn't matter what colour car you put them on or even which Porsche you put them on. The Lobster Claw is just a fantastic bit of design and much like the Fuchs wheels from earlier, they've got the right amount of style, class and discretion that perfectly suits Porsches. If and when I own a 911, it is definitely going to have Lobster Claws slapped straight on it. But finally are my favourite wheels. These were about the second or third suggestion on the Piston Heads thread and they just kept coming up over and over and over again because so many people love them. You probably know where they're coming from if you know anything about Italian cars and those are the Alfa Romeo Teledials. Just take a minute. How gorgeous are these wheels? They've evolved over the years but the whole time they've been a five-pointed star made out of circles and they just they're just right, aren't they? They're classy, they're stylish, they're exotic, but they're not so in your face that they don't work on even the more humdrum Alfa Romeo models. From the classics from the 70s and 80s, right up to a brand new 4C, these wheels are gorgeous. And no matter what form they've taken over the years, what colour they're painted, or what car they're put on from Alfa Romeo, because to be clear, do not put them on any car that is not made by Alfa Romeo. They are just Perfect. I just adore these wheels and when, when I own an Alfa Romeo, if it doesn't have some aftermarket ones on, it will be teledials all the way. All Italian car fans watching right now are nodding in approval and saying, yeah, he knows what he's on about. And you know what? For once, I think I do. So there we have it. My five favourite manufacturer standard rims. What are yours though? Why don't you jump in the comments, tell me what your favourite manufacturer standard wheels are and why I'm an idiot for picking those WRX wheels. But I stand by my opinion. It's the internet. So there. Thanks so much for watching this video everybody. I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you are notified when a new Miller Corner video is released and as I said there's a lot to look forward to this month but for now thanks once again for watching everybody and have a brilliant rest of your day see you soon and have a good one